Okay, so I sincerely apologize for that last video. Uh, it was very unorthodox, even for me. Like, honestly, there is so much random shit that gets uploaded to this channel. Like, if anyone remembers the uh, Black Ops 4 video, like I made about the supply drops, which I thought was pretty fucking funny, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, honestly, just occasionally you will see random shit on this channel. But since it was about Warren, who is obviously a YouTuber I have had... Um, let's just say more than a run-in in the past with, I think it was, um, you know, pretty, pretty interesting, but, uh, yeah, this is actually the first, well, the second video, actually, now that I am recording in my flat, uh, my new flat, which is why there might be a bit of an echo, I am going to try and work to sort something out about that, however, I'm not sure exactly what I can do, to be honest with you, because, yeah, honestly, I, I can't exactly go and install a bunch of, like, uh, acoustic stuff because that would, you know, raise a few questions with the, uh, you know, the staff and everything. That is the wrong Q&A questions. But, yeah, welcome, finally, to the uh, 80-90 subscribers Q&A. Now, uh, this one's been, obviously, a long time coming, and I've honestly been really, really looking forward to making this. So, it should be an interesting one. You are seeing some Black Ops 4 gameplay in the background for a bit of a change because obviously my video on Black Ops 4 did so well that I thought I would, you know, use it as some gameplay to hope and like boost some views. Someone is moving around outside my flat and they can probably hear me because the acoustics aren't that great. But anyway, yeah, welcome to the Q&A everyone. Obviously it's been a long time coming and we're gonna just jump straight into this. So the first question is from Mythical and he asks, what are your credit card details? One sec, let me go and check. Much, much later. Okay, uh, none of your business. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, I do like this sort of question. I do like the uh, jokey questions that we sometimes get because... Honestly, they, they make me laugh. Like, when I got this, I was just, like, absolutely in hysterics because it's the kind of question I would ask as a joke as well. So, me and Mythical were apparently on the same page right here. So, the next question is from Rick, and he says, Are you going to be doing a series on Elden Ring? Now, as you can probably guess, I have technically done a two-part series on Elden Ring, which is the talking about the easy mode stuff. However, I don't think I'm going to play it on the channel just because... And it's, it, I know, it feels like a lot of effort and uh, there's so many series I'm already doing on this channel. Like, I've got a one starting up in a few days for Halloween and stuff, so that should be interesting for you guys. Obviously, I'm still playing Halo Infinite because Halo Infinite is something I have not finished and the game's nearly been out for a year, so I might make, like, an hour-long video. Also, I have a new mouse there. That's a little bit of a segue, but we've got a new mouse now, so that should be good. But in regards to doing Elden Ring videos, I... I would like to do some, however, I don't think I'd do it on this channel, because if I'm gonna do Elden Ring stuff, it would be like, like, I don't, to be honest, I don't think anyone would really want to see a playthrough of the game, unless I did, like, a one-off video of me just playing through it, and trying to beat, like, the first boss or something, I don't know, maybe that could be quite interesting, but, yeah, uh, hopefully that answers your question, Mr. Rickle. And we're going to move on to the next question, which I think is by Zavo. It is. And uh, what he says, considering you're busy a lot of the time, how do you manage to make it through, make, manage yourself through it all? Do you like make light of the strict moments like your job or do you enjoy being serious about it? Um, honestly, it's a really weird question, this one. Like, I don't exactly know how to answer it. However, I'm going to say a bit of both because I do like making a lot of jokes about serious situations, mainly being in like a sarcastic light, like, oh, this is fucking fun, isn't it? Like, you know, just like that sort of humor, very uh, stereotypically British, that one. However, uh, like there's certain things that I will take seriously and be like, holy fuck, we are fucked in this moment. Like, what are we going to do at this point? I am a lot less busy now because obviously I've gone back to uni. I'm in my new uh, my new flat, and there's not honestly too much you know really going on. We've had all my lessons for this week already done because it's only like the um, I don't know what would you call it like the induction week, which is also known as Freshers Week, which is uh, going to be very interesting. So after recording this, I am going to go out for a bit. I'm going to go and meet some of my friends. I honestly, it's going to be pretty damn fun, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I am busy 
quite a bit still, you know, making videos, doing uni stuff, like, and I'm also trying to look for a job here as well, so I can actually have some money, uh, but yeah, stuff like that, I do like to make some jokes about it, you know, and also being serious at the same time, so hopefully that answers your question, to be honest with you, because, like, uh, I don't know, it's just a mixture of both, really, so the next question is from Zypha, and he says, do you like pans? If so, what is your preferred kind? You know, we've got the LGBT flag there. Um, if so, what is your preferred kind? Hmm, I'm going to have to say a skillet pan. You know, they're pretty sexy and, like, nice and griddled, if that's even a word, you know. Like, I just look at the skillet pans and I just think, oh! But Mr. Zypher's real question is, do you hope to do YouTube full-time someday, or do you plan on doing something else career-wise and keeping YouTube as a side job slash hobby? Now, this is honestly something I haven't really thought about too much. Like, yeah, I guess that when everyone starts YouTube, they hope they hopefully want to turn it into a career, but, um, yeah, honestly, I was never that arsed about it. Like, I want to. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. It's that sort of thing. Like, you know, I can't exactly control what's going to happen. Uh, the sub-growth on this channel has been mental. Like, even since I made that video talking about that, we're up to 155 subscribers right now, which is honestly absolutely insane. So I can't thank you guys enough for that. But, um, yeah, honestly, like, even if, you know, it never works out, which is probably the most likely Thing. I'm going to try and keep it as like a bit of a side hobby if I'm like working or whatever. Uh, kind of what I was doing with it this summer. I've been kind of doing YouTube on the side, focusing on getting going to work and getting that money. And, you know, stacking up all those bills and, yeah, stuff like that. And I always just kind of, like, kept YouTube on the side. Uh, obviously, I liked making videos and I still honestly absolutely love making YouTube videos. However, it's just, like, sometimes, you know, I don't have enough time for it or whatever, and, you know, uni work has to come first, uh, my actual job has to come first, because that's how I'm, like, you know, making a living, uh, in unless YouTube ever becomes, like, a full-time job for me, then, uh, I can obviously drop out of my actual job, which would probably be the logical step for many people who are in work, and, you know, they can actually make a money, uh, money off YouTube for, in, like, a decent amount, and yeah, then you just, I know if I'm still at uni at that point, I'll keep going to uni because I am technically in my first year because I did a, what's it called, like a foundation year. I did one of them. So um, yeah, I'm technically still a first year. I've not got too much to worry about this moment in time. So I can kind of just chill and make YouTube videos kind of like whenever I want, whenever I have my days off, which is like uh, two or three times a week, which is pretty damn good to be honest with you. Like I have a lot of time to myself, but yeah, hopefully that answered your question. Uh, fingers crossed this all works out for me and we can, you know, have Quinton TV to a million subscribers in five years, you know, never done before. Oh my god, that's a terrible reference. Uh, hopefully that answered your question. And the next one is from a person I actually know in real life, and that is, oh god, I always struggle with this, Exoglambiella, there we go. Uh, what game are you looking forward to the most that is yet to be released? Um... I would have to say either Modern Warfare 2, which obviously the beta has just ended as I'm recording this, and, uh, no, sorry, not as I'm recording this, yesterday as I'm recording this, and also Starfield, which I think comes out at the start of next year, obviously like Elder Scrolls 6 and stuff like that, uh, maybe like some, I think there's a Resident Evil 4 remake coming out very soon, which I'm going to be pretty um, much looking forward to, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, there's not really too much. Modern Warfare 2, which we've obviously just had the beta for, and honestly I enjoyed it, but there is still a lot of problems with it that need to be addressed at launch and after it, you know, before, at, and after launch, you know, because we usually do get a day one patch, but, um, yeah, I'm, I don't know what to think about Modern Warfare yet, I had a lot of fun playing the beta, to be honest, even though I didn't really get that much time, because I, at Thursday, obviously, it started, I made the video on Thursday and uploaded it on Friday, I played it on Friday a little bit, Saturday was the day I moved into my flat, so I didn't really, you know, have time to play Xbox or anything, so I, I literally just went straight out, and then Sunday I recorded a video, well I recorded a few videos and got some gameplay, uh, which hopefully sh you guys should be seeing in my Modern Warfare 2 review video and some life stories going forward. And yeah, then obviously Sun uh, Monday came around 
and I was back at uni, so uh, I didn't really have a lot of time, and I hung out with friends afterwards, so um, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of time to play the beta, to be honest with you, but uh, I did really enjoy what I played, so yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Rick asks another question, uh, what is the worst question you've played in Skyrim? And it can be any time you've played Skyrim. Now, the wor I think what he means is the worst quest I've played in Skyrim. And I did want to say the Imperial Civil War quest line. However, there was one particular mission that really annoys me every time I get to it. And that's the uh, learning, like, the shouts in High Hrothgar. Like, it is quite cool. However, it's just really annoying on multiple playthroughs to have to keep doing that and then going up the throat of the world even further to go and see um, Parthenax, I think it is. Yeah, those are some pretty annoying quests, to be honest. And also, uh, I can't remember, I think it's called In My Time of Need with the um, Red Guard woman. Yeah, I, I really don't like that quest because I never know who to side with because Red Guards are obviously the government. However, they're a bit of cunt, and also she's a bit of a cunt, so um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question, because I honestly don't really know other than that, to be honest with you, but we're going to move on to the next question, which is, uh, once again, from Mrs. Ella here, and it says, favourite song of all time. Now, I have a few. I honestly really like uh, Anywhere, is it? No, Wherever I May Roam by Metallica. Um, I also really like, uh, I re quite like some Johnny Cash occasionally, actually. Uh, I really like, obviously, like ACDC um, stuff like that. So for what I'm going to say, I can't really say what my favorite song of all time. So I'm probably going to have to round it up into maybe like a top three. I'm going to have to say Awaken Alive by Skillet, uh, Morning Glory by Oasis, and this one should be obvious to anyone that knows me. Uh, however, it's probably not one you're going to expect, and that's House of Wolves by My Chemical Romance, because everyone knows how much I love MCR. Uh, if you've literally spoke to me in person, it is probably, like, one of the things I can talk for hours about. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that answered the question, and hopefully there was some entertaining graphics on screen right there. But uh, we're going to move on. Could you imagine if Uzlot ever setting up a YouTuber house in the future like FaZe or the Sidemen did? Honestly, I feel like that would be the most unproductive thing ever. We'd always be vlogging and never making actual gaming videos. We'd just be like vlogging, like playing pranks on each other and doing like random shit instead of actually, you know, like making YouTube videos and stuff. Which, yeah, I guess vlogging could be considered uh, a YouTube making YouTube videos, but I'm on about making like proper YouTube videos like this. But um, yeah, honestly, I just feel like we wouldn't get anything done. However, it is quite a cool concept. Like, oh no, I don't even know what we call ourselves. What is it, the homies with extra chromies? Like, you know, we're not exactly uh, the most, you know, the name doesn't exactly roll off the, trong, the tongue. So what would it be like? The the chromie, the chromie house? The chromie squad? Whatever? I don't know. Fucking who knows? But um, yeah, you know, if anyone else wants to join in the chromie house, then you're more than welcome to everyone. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. Don't come to our fucking house. But uh, yeah, honestly, it would be quite cool. However, uh, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, let's be honest. It, who knows? Maybe in 10 years, I'll be making a video talking about this. And I'll be like, haha, we're in the chromie house, bitches. And the last question I kind of saved because I thought it would be a very interesting question to round out the video. And that is, if there was one thing that you could change about your YouTube channel, what would it be and why? Now, um, honestly, if despite the obvious, I obviously most people would say give me more subscribers, which is one thing I would definitely like at some point, you know, like getting up to like 501k. I feel like that would be a very good milestone for my channel. Um, but I feel like it's not so much a change to my channel it's more as like a change to how i manage channels in the past more so like i actually deleted the original old quinton tv channel which unfortunately meant that i took most of the videos with it when i deleted it so yeah i wish i guess in terms of that you could say like i wish i hadn't have deleted that like i'd just have kept it and you know like done whatever because yeah, honestly, there were some really good videos on there that I was quite happy with. Thankfully, I did manage to save a few, 
and like some of the old ones that were edited on my like really old laptop which was now had been made into my family laptop uh, because my dad like managed to uh, take it to some place and get it like all tricked out and everything but um yeah as basically i managed to get a few stuff off there and like managed to like save some of it so if you ever want to see some old quinton tv videos i may uh you know like put them on this channel as like a bit of a throwback i don't know uh, probably won't to be honest with you because some of them were quite bad and i just thought they were funny at the time and some of them did have some funny jokes also um with that channel i did attempt to do some like filthy frank-esque story which i would love to do at some point on a, maybe a different channel like I, I i don't even know like i'd love to do something like that just make the jokes a bit less shit and maybe like have some better effects or whatever and by better effects i mean not just shooting a gun or having a noise and no like smoke or anything coming out the barrel um in that which is what I did. I don't even care if it's a shitty PNG of like fire coming out the gun. Like I, I don't even care if it's just that. To be honest with you. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for to the for the Q and A today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, there may be another one coming relatively soon. And by relatively soon, I mean sometime next year because I don't want to do these too often at the moment. And um, you know, just like doing them as an occasional thing is honestly a lot better for me. And yeah, that's what I want to keep it as, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, other than that, there's not too much else to say. Uh, there should be a Modern Warfare 2 video coming tomorrow, I want to say. And then Saturday is the 1st of August, uh, 1st of October. Jesus Christ, I'm as bad as dates as my mate, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, when it's hit for the 1st of October, I'm going to be moving to making spooky videos, I guess you could call them and yeah you know like halloween stuff i want to be playing a horror game and i do have a game lined up for what i want to play so hopefully you guys will enjoy that but yeah i'm pretty sure i've said all i need to say now so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy please do a like and subscribe make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video or alternatively you can join the discord server as a link down below but anyway this has been quinton tv and i'll see you all in the next one